Hello, this is Mr. McGovern. This is the eighth video in the inductor series for level three of NCA physics. Um, and we're looking at the energy stored in an inductor and what happens to that energy if you collapse the field really quickly. So the energy um, stored in an inductor, this formula is given to you, half Li squared. L we've met before is a measure of the inductance, how good the inductor is and that is measured in henry's you can increase the inductance say by adding an iron core um, this is coil there but iron core to the um, middle of the inductor i is the current flowing through that inductor and we've met capacitors before and they store energy in an electric field between the two plates inductors are sort of the um, yin and yang where they store the energy not in an electric field but in the magnetic field. So that's pretty basic formula to use. Um, no troubles there. An interesting thing happens uh, if you set up a certain circuit uh, like the one we've got here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, collapse the magnetic field in the inductor um, quickly and we can get a voltage spike. So Let's just go back. We don't really need to see that at the moment. What we'll do is um, I've got a battery um, and the parallel circuit so we can get current flowing through the light bulb and the inductor. We'll turn it on um, and the bulb gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And what happens is, is that um, when I open the switch, I then have got a circuit around the bulb, the inductor, and then through. This is a resistor here. I have a circuit through here, no more battery. Um, and what's going to happen is that current's going to go to zero, and there's going to be a back EMF, and that current produced by the back EMF, the inductor's going to flow through the resistor. So we can measure that down here. So we open it up, and we see um, that we're going to watch it here. We're zooming right to see um, maybe just a 10 volts. Open it up, and there it is. So we can see it. Um, going from positive 10 to, to negative 10 rather quickly and um, this is a, a bit faster than what we've had before in the past but still only 10 volts. The time constant for how quick this graph occurs, remember it's inverse to resistance. So if we have a very large resistance we're going to have a much smaller time and this graph gets more and more compacted and spikier. So um, I can change the resistance of this and that's what I'm going to do. Now when this graph gets spikier the back EMF generated here um, is equal to remember inductance times how quickly the current changes over time. Now this time can sort of be substituted in here so remember high resistance means the time is going to be quicker divide by a very quicker time a much shorter time we get a much much larger back EMF um, and that's what I'm going to go for. A very small time constant can give us a very large back EMF. So I'm going to do that now by um, changing, by clicking on the resistor. And you can see down here I've got 12 ohms. I crank that up as high as I can and um, get the thing playing. Charge the light bulb up again. It's all charged up. Um, and oh, I'm going to change the... Yep, so I, because it's going to be a higher voltage zoomed out. But okay, so you watch how quickly this happens. Um, and I can pause this now. It happened much, much quicker. And you can see the scale now is, you know, negative 50 almost to 100. And this has gone sort of 70 volts. So before it was 10 volts, and now I've managed to crank it up just by sort of um, changing the resistance on here to 70 volts. Okay, and this is all just happening because this um, magnetic field, we've, set a situation up where we can get the magnetic field collapsing very quickly and we can generate large voltages. Now this can be quite dangerous, a large back EMF, um, but it can also be quite controlled and quite useful. So a very similar method to one that I just set up with that simulation, but instead of just one inductor we use a mutual inductance, which we met before, so you have two inductors, um, and you have different amounts of coils in each one. You can set this up to induce a very very large back EMF um, and this is what an ignition coil is for a spark plug uh, in internal combustion engines and that generates a ridiculously high voltage like kilovolts 
over a short amount of time and that causes the spark to occur and that spark is used to light the petrol on fire within the internal combustion engine. Um, so we can, even though I've said it can be dangerous, it can be used and harnessed in quite an interesting way. So we looked at two things there. We looked at the energy um, stored in in inductor and then we looked at how we could um, collapse the field very quickly by using a very high resistance in the circuit and, and turning the current off um, rapidly and that can generate a very high voltage and that's that energy can be dissipated very quickly um, and that's in, like in a spark plug you can get um, very very high voltages and, and cause a spark to occur.